Hey everybody, welcome back to K-Plays Hearthstone. I'm going to be showing two more classes in this second video to help demonstrate the roles before we move on into playing the game proper. Today we're up for Paladin and Rogue. And we'll do Rogue first, actually. We'll fight the Computer Rogue. Rogue is a fairly straightforward class. It's about being tricky. You do a lot of complicated things to try and directly hurt the enemy and undermine their their board and generally sabotage them. Always <laughs> do. So we've got a pretty bad starting hand. I don't want expensive cards like those. If I didn't mention it last episode, the big blue crystal number in the corner in the upper corner is how much they cost. And I actually can't play a card this turn because I don't have any one mana cards in my hand. So we're going to have to wait a turn. The rogue's hero power is they get a 1-2 dagger. Basically a dagger that deals 1 damage and has 2 uses before it breaks. What do you want? We're going to put down a taunt to cover us while we get a board set up. That's pretty nasty. He's definitely going to beat that guy, but that's eh, fine. I got 3 mana, so I'm going to get some extra creatures out. Since they kind of have to trade the Bloodfin Raptor into the Frostwolf Grunt because they can't attack past the taunt, Time for I'm just going to hit them in the face because next turn they're going to hit the Grunt. And that way I get a little more damage out of him. Yeah, like that. Hmm. More creatures is always good. You can have up to seven minions on your board. On your side of the board, rather. And it's good to have a lot of minions. There are cards that punish you for having too many, but they don't come into play in this right now. So, in terms of what's going on right now, more minions is good for me. I want lots of minions. Okay, now that didn't kill him. I could take some damage fighting him with these, but I'd much rather just draw out my dagger and finish him off. I take a point of damage, but it opens the way for these two to hit directly. And this Crocolisk is a nice 2-3 creature. I'll play that as well. Alright, they've played a spell to give their weapon more power, so it's actually 3 damage now. They use that to take out that Crocolisk instantly. Ouch. That hurt. Okay, now we've got a few possibilities here. I think I'm gonna go for the real big nasty damage. Play that ogre. Here we go. I'm gonna take that out since it only has one health. I'm not worried about that two damage right now. There. And I'm doing a lot of damage directly to them, so they're going down pretty quick. Ah, they've used an assassinate to instantly destroy him. That's most of their mana for this turn though. And they're going to pull out a dagger and probably finish off that wounded 2-1 creature there. Yep. This is getting a little tough. Now, I'm going to play this taunt. That way I don't have to fight this with her. And I'll just hit them in the face. And I'd like more cards, so Fan of Knives here would deal 1 damage to all enemy minions and draw me a card. I've got just enough mana to do that. Job's done. I like the card I drew. And hmm. Okay. So they went for it. And they're taking a lot of abuse to do it. That's fine with me. Now, if I leave him alone, he'll kill my taunt. So I'm going to waste... Well, I'm not really wasting. I'm just going to use up this 2-2 creature to finish him off. And now, I'd like more cards. You can have up to ten cards in your hand. I only have five, so I'm going to play this rogue spell I just drew, Sprint. Seven mana, but I draw four cards. And rogues are all about having a lot of cards. Okay. Now I have a big hand to work with. I can do all kinds of stuff next turn. They'll never know what That Nightblade directly damages me, and they're playing a spell to damage me directly again through my taunt. Meanwhile, they hit them. Unfortunately, they're out of time. Oh, they hit me again with another Sinister Strike spell. As you can see, rogues can do a lot of damage directly to you, very suddenly and unexpectedly. I'm going to backstab them with this spell. Just for the damage. 
I can equip a nice weapon if I so choose. Play a minion if I want. And I'll just uh, finish them off with a Sinister Strike of my own. If you're wondering why some of my cards have golden borders, it's just a special equivalent of like uh, having a holographic card. You get them uh, awarded for free, and they sometimes appear in packs, too. Every so many levels, you're given golden cards. All right, so that's Rogue in a nutshell. It's, uh, it's a crafty kind of class. It's a lot of fun to play. Next, we're going to do Paladin, who's kind of the opposite of Rogue in a lot of ways. It's very straightforward about things. Paladin is all about getting lots of minions and using spells to make them really strong, and you can make yourself strong because you have weapons. Paladin is a very straightforward, fight-it-out class. He wants to win a long game of attrition. Because he will. If you get in a long game with a Paladin, you're probably losing. My hero power is Paladin. Let's me summon a 1-1 creature for free. Kind of like how the Shaman summons, except... It's not one of four random creatures, it's always this one attack, one health creature. Which can be buffed with some of the more high-end Paladin cards from other expansions. Which, again, you can earn in-game for free. Well, I have several options here. I want to get somebody down that's a little big. So two health, or two attack and three health for only two mana is a pretty good deal. He's playing the coin. He's going to have three mana this turn, so he's playing something. Raid Leader. Okay, that's not a problem, actually. I win that fight. I'm actually kind of happy he played that. Now, I'm going to just kill him outright. No problems. I'm going to play the Novice Engineer. They're not very good. Two mana for one attack, one health. But they draw you a free card out of your deck. And I'll play him, too. Rifleman takes him out with his battle cry of dealing one damage. Battle cry is what they do when they're played immediately. There's also death rattle, which is an ability that they'd use if they die. And other things like inspire and stuff that we'll get into later. Now I have four mana. I could play a pretty big card here, and I think I'd like to do that actually. I'm gonna play my true silver champion weapon. For justice. When I use it, it heals me for two life, and then I deal four damage. Unfortunately, I already had full health, so I didn't get to take advantage of the healing. But that's okay. Because I have a board and he doesn't, although that can change fast against a paladin. Ah, here comes one of his uh, silver hand recruits. They're basically free creatures. They cost two mana, but not a card. And that's surprisingly powerful in this. Well, I don't really care about my 1-1 one -one creature. I'll get rid of his. Get this grizzly out here. I'm gonna get a recruit of my own. I'm gonna actually hold on to my weapon. You don't have to use it every turn. It has one more use, and I'm just gonna sit on it for the moment. He's a bigger version of that rifleman, basically. Four attack, two health. And he deals two damage when he comes out. Now, the nice thing, though, is I'm gonna show a new mechanic to you. This is Divine Shield. The next points of damage he takes, the next hit, however much it is, is completely negated. So while he would die to that four damage, he trades in, the divine shield is destroyed, and he took no damage instead. It's really useful. We're gonna get a swamp ooze down, which if he had a weapon, his battle cry would have destroyed it. Which can be useful. And I'm gonna summon another guy. He's summoning a recruit of his own. For the king. And he has a guy who's two attack, five health, and charges. Pretty nasty. Pretty nasty, except I can get rid of him with my weapon here. My true silver will heal me up. I kill him. I take the two damage. It's like I was never hurt at all. Now then, we need to get rid of him. So I'll use one of my guys. Get a big two health guy out here. Or two attacks, seven health. He's pretty strong. Doesn't deal a lot of damage. But that's okay. Because part of Paladin is the ability to buff your minions. Okay. Ah, I gave her Divine Shield. Very nice. Now this should be interesting. I'm going to... Well, first of all, I don't have a lot of options. So I'm going to play my Novice Engineer and draw a card. Like 
attention. I like that card. I like that card a lot. To battle. We're gonna hit him with a crappy guy here to pop that divine shield off. To battle. Then hit with that. And that finishes it up. Now, I'm going to use this Blessing of Might to bless my uh, Oasis Snapjaw and give him three more attack, permanently. So he's now at five attack. I've got another one of those. So why don't we make him an 8-7 creature now? For duty. Pow! That's good. So now he's pretty strong, and if he doesn't kill him, he's pretty much dead because he deals more damage than he has remaining life. That's bad. That's a very tough guy. Six attack, five health with taunt. Well, let's play this guy because he's just a good character. Get another recruit. I can, however, change his attack to one with this spell. So now he's not as much of a threat. I don't mind taking one damage. Keep control of the board using my free minions. Pass me that arc -like scanner. Handle it. Okay, well that's a good start of a board, and he's healing. He used a heal spell to restore six life to himself. So he's back to eight life. Unfortunately, he's just kind of out of luck, because smack, and it's over. I don't have to kill his board, I just have to kill him. And that's how Paladin works, in a nutshell. I will see you guys in the next episode, where we discover two more classes and work out how they, they play the game. I'll see you then. Bye-bye for now.